What? I'm just watering my dogs. They need to grow too. Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, that's right. I'm watering my boys. Look at this. Watering my Opie. Gonna water my Jacks. You're wondering why in the world are they in their cage? That's the dog path. That way they can't get into my good yard and, well, make a mess of it. They dig. They get bored. Yes, the title says trucking with Schmidt, but right now I think you're going to see me more at home than in the truck because things have slowed down. If you're a subscriber, you know why they've slowed down. But on my channel, Trucking with Schmidt, it is mainly trucking, but also I'm going to mix it. I mix it with home time. Home time can be anything from going fishing going mushroom hunting, messing around out in the timber, riding four-wheelers, riding uh, Tater's got her moped we run around with, yard work, camping, and trucking. So basically, you get trucking with Schmidt. And then when I'm home, you get trucking with Schmidt home time. I hope that explained my channel enough. Well, today, I'm going to start my very first garden. We've never had one. The wife had one, a couple tomatoes, a few little things, peppers, but today we're going to start my very, very first garden. That and I get to watch my beautiful wife stay in our swing set. How you doing, Warden? Good. Good. You are with Schmidt, the professional gardener now. I can't even keep a straight face when I'm saying that. Enough talking. Let's get to gardening. Sending out. No. Almost done. The rows have to stay as soft as they can. What I'm doing here? I'm putting too much work into those rows, aren't I? They look pretty. All right, grab me a muskmelon and a watermelon. Muskmelon. Muskmelon. Here you go. Where's Watermelon's right there on the corner in the square. You want like a black one? Nope, we're going to put that somewhere else. All this, right, come this here. One, this one needs water, right? When we transport it, we need oh, yeah. water instantly. We're going to put the muskmelon right there. Watermelon. Set it right in the middle over here. All right. All right. And this is where everybody's yelling at their screen right now. Those are way too close together. Get them apart. <laughs> All right, grab the tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes. I'm gonna put this one right there. Put this one right there. Right here. Are right, you gonna put the big ones in the middle? Right there, and now everyone's yelling, well, geez, that's plenty of distance for tomatoes. <laughs> All righty, let's keep going. Okay, guys. Um. Go ahead and let me know if I'm putting these too close together or not. Oh, wait. It'll be a couple days before you see this video. Experiment one. We don't want it to get too big, though. That is our experiment super sweet cherry. These are the indeterminate. Indeterminate. Those are indeterminate. The rest of them are determinate. Which means the indeterminate ones just keep producing. Like, they kind of don't stop. And then the determinate ones, after they produce, like, enough, by the end of the season, they'll stop. Right? Well, if I read it right on YouTube, the determinate ones will stop growing after three feet. The de indeterminate ones we'll just keep, keep growing. Yeah. Where did I leave it? I think I left it up front. On the back. Okay. Okay. I used it last night. Okay. Fuck. 
first one planted. All right, dig a little hole right there, the same size as that. It leaves a little bit. Up here? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Okay, we have two plants down at this point. If you're a professional gardener, you may want to turn it off. And just like that, the garden is in. Does it look professional, guys? I hope so. Putting on tomato cages. So basically all I need to do is put a little trellis up for the cucumber, run the soaker hoses, and plant the sweet corn, and I think we're going to call it a garden. Okay. He's trapped. Hi guys. Garden is done. Warden, where are you going? Where are you going? I know you always say you look like crap on camera, but come on. Yeah. Got her swing set done. We're making progress today, boys and girls. My night to cook. I like goulash. Let those noodles soak that juice in. It should be ready to go. Now let's go check on the garden. Real quick before we run back and check on the garden. <laughs> I have grass. Yes. Here, let me show you. Look. All this all this stuff we did. I have grass. Yes, you're watching a YouTube channel where a guy is bragging and talking about having little baby grass. I'm for sure a weirdo. You guys already knew that. Now let's go check on the garden. Well, guys, what do we think? Finished product. We got our strawberry there. We got our watermelon and muskmelon there, two tomatoes and a pepper, one tomato, cucumber, two peppers. pepper, oh. and two cauliflower. There it is. I did what YouTube said, other than the spacing on those two. The watermelon and the muskmelon, I might have issues with, but they're planted. Look at that, we even got the we even got the hose in there. What do you call those? Soaker hoses? Look at that. Whew. I'm a professional gardener. That's right, professional gardener Schmidt here. We're gonna start a new YouTube channel and call it Professional Garden with Schmidt. No, you're not. No, we better not. Cause uh I'd probably get chased out of the YouTube world because we're far from a professional garden. All right, guys, that's the garden. I hope everybody's having a good day so far. I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're having fun. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. Where are you going? To fold laundry. She's going to go fold laundry. That's an exciting thing. Should we follow her? No, she says no, we won't follow her to fold laundry.